What's going on there friends? My name is M Grace, and welcome to my brand new let's play of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair for all PlayStation consoles and PC. I'll be playing this game on the PC. Last year on November 28th of 2019, I did my blind playthrough of Danganronpa 1 and now here we are one year later where we are doing the sequel to Danganronpa 2 and I am very excited for this playthrough because uh, I really enjoyed the first game back when I did it uh, way back then and um, uh, I'm really excited to see what Danganronpa 2 has in store for us. Uh, a little fun fact, I originally was going to LP this game uh, after Murder by Numbers, uh, but then um, sometime during my LP of Murder by Numbers, I got my, cell, I got my 3DS rec uh, recording equipment so that I could record 3DS LPs. So I wanted to get in a couple 3DS LPs in there. And well, now finally here we are, finally about to try this game out. And, um, yeah, so, um, um, so a few key points to note here. This is indeed a blind playthrough. Um, I have never played this game before. So I would like t for you guys in the comments to not spoil anything for me. And, um, but you can give me some hints and tips that'll help, that'll help me throughout the playthrough. Um... And, uh, that's pretty much it for the most part. Um, I have received some excellent feedback throughout, uh, my LP of Danganronpa 1, so I'm really excited for you guys to check out, uh, this playthrough. Uh, but anyway, I have rambled enough, so let's go ahead and begin a new game. It looks like, uh, alright, let's go ahead and start a new game here. Um, okay, from the beginning, let's go ahead and take a look at some options here. All right, um, these are fine. Voice volume's fine. Uh, I'm gonna put this on fast. Move a bob, sure. Um, and um, yeah, okay. I'm, I hope my settings are saved. And with that, I think we are ready to go from the beginning. So, um, okay, English, yes. Um, gentle, kind, and mean. All right, so I believe I played on kind difficulty from the first game, so we're gonna leave it at that. So let's go ahead and do it. Hey, can you hear me? Are, 
Are you okay? Oh, who is that guy? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Wait, what? Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. Lots of thinking, lots of thinking. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right, I... Oh, what is it? Is this a, a computer program? PCS version 1.01? Something, lots of codes, computer language here. I'm a computer science major. I would probably know this stuff right here. What? What? Are we playing a game inside of a game? What? Is this a game inside of a game? What are we doing here? That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day felt truly significant. And when that long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I like this guy right here. Although, I'd say Makoto looks kind of cooler, in my opinion. But I don't really know much about this guy yet right now, so I guess it's kind of too early to make uh, assumptions like that. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what, what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Oh, look. It's that school again. Hope's Peak Academy. Oh man, welcome back. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Oh man. It's not like this is any familiar or anything like that. Hope Speak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope and in doing so shape the future. Whenever Hope Speak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of the school. Well, that's basically what Hope's Beat Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else, the truth is, my circumstance is a little different than uh, than that of my peers. Oh, oh man, it's not it, this. It, it's it, it's not like this is very familiar to us to another story, isn't it? You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. But it's worth talking about! I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity. Or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why, to feel like a member of society, to become someone I can be proud of, I always wanted to. For that reason alone, I've I always wanted to something. I just want I just want to point out real quick that uh, Hajime Hajime's voice is not what I expected it to be. Or at least not what I imagined it to be. I wasn't really expecting anything, but uh, it's definitely not what I could have imagined what his voice would be. Uh, but definitely, he definitely does sound older sounding than uh, Makoto. That's all I gotta say about that. Alright. Okay, so we're thinking about something that we always wanted to do something. Uh, I don't know if this is part of the game or my screen is just acting really weird. Oh, okay, I see. 
I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I, I really am. That's why, ho, oh, I might admire, oh my god, I can't read this, talent individuality, but I have finally forever tried my best, finally came true, and then, wait, are we just like a, a computer program? Is that why we just like have this? Okay, well then what the heck happened? Wait. Okay, so there's this door. All right, this door looks rather familiar. Still, I never need to, or still I need to hurry because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What need? No, I should hurry. Okay. Are we going inside the classroom? Oh my god, it's a sliding door. I don't think it was ever a sliding door. But, uh... Oh, are, wait, are these the students? Who goes there? Who goes there? Um, are you feeling alright? You look quite pale. Wait, so are we still in the flashback of, like... Trying to remember what we're doing, or is it, or are we just now going inside the school, like in the present? Um. Hey, could you be? You're also a freshman at this school, right? Uh, then you're all. See for yourself. We're all freshmen too. We're. Oh man. Who knew we'd be in a class full of freshmen? The freshmen who are accepted into Hope Speak Academy, the ultimate? Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. <laughs> what the heck? Who's this guy? This guy looks like a really. Did, did Biakia just gain a lot of weight since the first game? <laughs> is that what this guy is? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right, first impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident, thus to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying my best to act cool. Okay, so now we're inside here. I stepped aside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me, as if I was drawn to it. But, how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. What? Dude, this guy sounds just like Byakuya, too. Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so... Is there, like, an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening just now? Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Wait, okay. Since you are the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. This is everyone? How did you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in this classroom, and the and, and this guy is a 16th student. Oh man! There's 16 of us? How fun! Such it's obvious you, 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 if you bother to think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, just what are we gonna talk about? Who the heck is this guy? This guy doesn't look like a freshman. This guy looks like he's 40. Is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Oh, wait, so we're not the only one, right? A surprised look uh, uh, appeared on everyone's foot, uh, face. No, not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realize that you were in this classroom, then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? Oh, man. It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey, what do you mean, stupid looking? So words, the moment you stepped foot in, on campus, you felt a strange dizziness and now you're here and you don't know why. That is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true for all of you? Man, how could it possibly happen to all of us? Everyone felt the same dizziness, that's weird. Yeah, even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence then? So in 
other words. Meaning we can only speculate. Who's responsible for this strange phenomenon? Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get, to get even stranger. Ha! I don't know what you're talking about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. So what I mean is... I mean, it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. What do you mean, why we can't leave? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all with all his might to pull it open, but... Wait, what? We're locked inside of a classroom? Oh my god! A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a, take a crap. But that door wouldn't budge at all. Hey. Wow. So we're freaking locked in a freaking classroom. It's even worse than being locked in a school. You know, with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. Dude, who the heck is this girl right here? What do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. She's right. It's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Though I don't understand what force are at work here. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. Man, how can this be freaking possible? I don't freaking understand. I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt, as though a feeling un of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in some dangerous? Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the, the entrance exam? But why would you get locked inside of a classroom when you're taking an entrance exam? However. Yeah, exactly. There, it does not exist. What? They may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. I mean, for a school like this, probably. Yeah, I could probably imagine That's that. That's wrong. That's wrong. What? Hey, bastard. Wait. That wait, that was that was this guy that 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 said that or Huh? Who's no. is it? <laughs> Who's there? Perhaps. Sound like I came from behind the teacher's desk. Wait, so should we look behind the teacher's desk? Hello. Wait, what? Um, what? Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right! I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal! A squeezably soft stuffed animal! Magical miracle girl Usami! A.K.A. Usami! Usami! I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher! Nice to meet you all! Huh? Um... Yeah, no, you're not hallucinating. What's going on? Huh? What's with this talking chihuahua? Everyone. Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? That's a rabbit? So first we have Monokuma the bear, and then now we have Usami the rabbit. Um. I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. <laughs> it's probably remote controlled or something. Oh man, y'all have no idea. Hmm. Pretty advanced for a toy. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said, it seems like you know something about our current situation. I am the lead teacher of this school trip. This is a school trip? Man, on our first day of Hope Speak Academy? That's crazy. Come on. A large group of students go on a chaperone on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. 
Now it's the part for the fun school trip. Wait, are we going now? Or wait, what's happening? Um, okay. Man, this would be so perfect for a face cam. <laughs> oh man, I like this music. But... What? The classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. Who is this? No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal, clearly unreasonable, utterly crazy, blatantly wrong. Um. And why are there cameras on the beach? I know, I'd like to believe that this is a joke too. Wow. Everyone. <laughs> there is no reason to panic. See? Look around. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is going what is being washed clean, isn't it? It washed away everything, even all the bad oh. things. Well, obviously, we're out where it's better. Out where it's wetter. Out by the sea. Um. You know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. Like this? But we were just at school and now we are by the sea. This is impossible. No but do not, please do not worry. The school trip has just started, that's Hold all. I know, I like I like to know the deets on what is going on here. We're supposed to be attending Hope Speak Academy. I see. I see. You don't say you guys are feeling unsure about Hope Speak Academy, then in that case, please don't forget about Hope Speak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Okay, I still don't get it. Why are we what are we doing here? The heck do you mean we should forget about it? Okay. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. No problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. So please, there's no worry, no need to worry. Okay, so we're on an island. Who knew Hope Speak Academy is located on an island this whole time? It's so unbelievable. It was prepared for just for us, an island free from other people in danger. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. No inhabitants on this island? Wait, whoa, 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 hold on, kill each other? No, 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 impossible. But I mean, if you're stuck on a, on a desert island, that's exactly what you would do, though. Just saying it horrifies me. That's so scary. Okay. While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and straighten your bonds with one another. This is the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. What did you say? That's right. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about free from pain, free from suffering. Truly this lovey-dovey, heart-throbbing school trip is everyone's homework! Yay! Let the heart-throbbing school trip begin! Okay. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I could follow her words at all. And then, just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering, my mind ground to a hole. Um, okay.
Um, wow. That was crazy. I don't even know what I just experienced, but... Yeah, whatever. Uh, I guess we'll save? Why not? Mm.